It's Deco Guyver again. I'm, today I'm bringing y'all something a little different. Today I'm bringing a tutorial video on how to install Forge and install mods onto Minecraft. Technically, only one mod, which is the Pixelmon mod, which is the mod you're going to need in order to play on the Waffle House Pixelmon server. Now, you're going to only need two, which is Forge itself and then Pixelmon. You will, uh, both the websites for Forge and Pixelmon will be in the description below. So all you have to do is just go down, click on that link, and, and it should take you to the correct spot you'll need to go to download them. But just so you know, you will need to download the 1.8.9. Not 1.9, not 1.10, the 1.8.9. From here, you will go to the recommended... Not the latest. Recommended. Latest is unstable. It will kick you off the server. It will crash your game. If you're playing it single player, download the recommended. You can either use the installer or the installer win. Either will work. I normally just use the installer. That's just pers my personal preference. It's a small file, so it shouldn't take you long at all. Uh, after that one, after Forge is downloaded, go to the Pixelmon website, go to Downloads, and download the latest version. You'll notice that it's uh, 11, 15, 1, 17, which is the same version for uh, Forge that we just downloaded, which is the recommended. Now, this file is large. It will take you a while to download, so just just give it a little bit of time. And once it's downloaded, uh, we're ready to go to the next step. Yeah, the next step is to, uh, is to double click on the Forge installer. It'll bring up the installer window. Make sure it says install client. And then click OK. Now, it will take a few minutes to install. That's normal. Uh, the only thing you're really going to be concerned about is, of course, if you have an older, slower machine. But it, it's still going to take a few minutes, no matter what you do. So just give it a just give it a minute. All right. Once that's done, what if the best thing to do is to uh, load up Minecraft or start the launcher? You'll see that your profile it should still have your name on it. Click on the drop-down menu and go to Forge. And you'll see that it says ready to play Minecraft 1.8.9 Forge, da, 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 so on and so forth. Click play. This will once again take a few minutes to actually load up, but that's normal. Now there is some a few other tweaking we're going to do in, once this is done, but we're going to set this up first. So just let Forge set up, let it install. You'll notice in the bottom left hand it says Minecraft 1.8.9. And then it's powered by Forge 11, 15, 1, 17, 22. That's currently the version that we're using. This may, of course, change when the Pixelmon mod itself updates. But for now, that's the one we need. Anyway, qu quit out of this. Now, what you'll want to do next is you'll want to press and hold the Windows key. And then press the R that will bring up the run window and you'll go to percent app data percent just like it is here click ok this will bring you to the roaming app data folder and minecraft should be at the very top just double click on that and what we're looking for here is the mods folder if you don't see the mods folder if you you should see all of these files right here. If you don't see any of these files, you need to run Minecraft on your profile first. Just run your run your here, let me show you. Just run it from your profile first. Then go back. Make sure you see Forge, run it on Forge, and you should see the mods folder. You can technically create it, but I, like, I prefer to make sure that it's there first. So double click on the mods folder. You'll take the Pixelmon mod 
and drag it into that end of the folder. This is all that you need right here. So once that's in there, just close the window. You don't need it anymore. Click on the Minecraft launcher again, and this is where we're gonna get a little bit complicated, if you will. It's not really complicated at all. So uh, on the Forge profile, click Edit Profile, and you'll see down at the very bottom where it says the JVM, just check that checkbox. And the very first line should be the negative XMX, and it should say 1G. You will need to increase, this is the RAM on your system, on your computer. Uh, you will need, if you don't know what your RAM, what the, the amount of RAM you have on your computer, just go to, right click on computer, go to properties. And you'll see mine has 16 gigs. And what I suggest, this, at least two gigs at least two gigs but i normally suggest just going half of what you have which for me is going to be eight so you save make sure you save don't close it if you close it you know none of the changes we just made are going to are going to matter so save click play And now this is where the waiting is going to happen. It's going it, it, to, once, once again, depending on your machine, this may be really quick. It may take a few minutes. If it does lock, if it does say not responding up on the top, don't worry about it. Just give it a few minutes as long as you see that this is still moving. But best thing I would suggest also is to not touch the window. The game seems to freak out when you do. Anyway, once that's done, you'll be able to click on multiplayer. And you'll need to add the server. I, this is a brand new install. I completely erased erased it so I could show y'all. You'll then add this, uh, you'll then see the server here, and you know what to do after that. Now there are, of course this will end up changing once in a while like i said the mod will update uh, that's going to happen uh, all you'll have to do is you'll go back to the pixelmon website download the recommended uh download the latest recommended will more than likely tell you which version it is that we're running on the server right now and that's the one you'll want to download and for that once again Windows key R, percent app data percent. Go into the Minecraft folder, delete the old one, and put in the new one. And that should be it. The main thing I've found that people seem to have, that people run into problems with, is with the RAM. It, as far as I've been able to tell right now, it looks like it needs at least two gigs of RAM for the Pixelmon mod to run and not uh, bog down your computer and or crash. Uh, so at least two gigs. I recommend using half your half your computer's RAM, which right now I guess that would mean that there's a minimum of at least three and a half gigs on your computer if not four but other than that so far that seems to be the only issue that we've run into uh, of course if you have any other issues or you see anything else let us know let me know we'll try to work on it and try to figure out what's going on to get you to be able to run the pixelmon mod so you can get onto the server but that's pretty much it so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'm going to thank you all for watching. I'm going to hope to see you all again. If you all did enjoy this video and, and this was helpful, please leave a like that lets me know. And, I'll be, and it'll make me feel better, make me feel happy. But like I said for now, I'll thank you all for watching. Later, y'all.